Hey, this is Rick Casales from ExercisesForInjuries.com. I wanted to go through a great exercise to help improve hip internal rotation. So a common muscle imbalance that ends up happening with people is they end up tightening up in the hips and they end up losing how much internal rotation they end up having because of uh, core weakness, but also because of tightness in that hip. And I wanted to go through a great exercise that helps increase that hip internal rotation. Now what the exercise ends up being called is leg rotations on the wall. And I'll get Donna Lee to demonstrate it. So you're you know, lying on a mat and you're bringing your legs up against the wall. Okay, lying down, bring the legs up against the wall upper body's relaxed and what you can do is you bring out the arms out to about 45 and then you bring your palms up and that ends up putting your upper body in more of a relaxed position. Now you have your legs up against the wall now you're going to separate a little bit good and now what you're going to do is isolate the hips and rotate the legs out and back and you're really trying to focus on that movement happening in the hip as opposed to the ankle and the lower leg. Now if you need help to see if you're rotating the, the hips, you can bring your hands and put them on your thighs and almost have it as a guide where you're kind of like rotating out and then rotating in. Also in this position, it ends up being an unloaded position so you can really isolate that hip joint and you're rotating out, holding for a second or two, and then rotating in and holding for a second or two. And, all, and another important thing when it comes to this exercise, it helps educate the body when it comes to joint isolation. So a lot of times people don't know how to isolate their joints or isolate movements. And this helps educate the body to separate the hip joint movement from the rest of the body, which is an important, uh, important thing in order to move properly, overcome injuries, and prevent injuries. Now, what I, pro how I progress from this is you separate a little bit further, and then you'd end up going through the same movement, rotating in and rotating out. Now, you're not gonna feel a really strong stretch, you're gonna feel a light stretch in the hip, and what you should feel is it should be easier to move that hip in internal rotation, rotating in and rotating out. Perfect, Donnelly. So there you go. Give that exercise a go if you end up having poor internal rotation of the hip. It's really simple and easy to do. You can do it while, you know, while watching a movie or watching TV. So there you go, this is Rick Casales from ExercisesForInjuries.com. Make sure to swing by ExercisesForInjuries.com. Enter in your injury or pain. There's a good chance to have an article, video, or an interview for you that'll help you overcome your injury or pain. Secondly, if you're watching this on YouTube, head up above, hit subscribe. What that'll do is every couple days you'll get a video like this where I talk about tips and tricks on overcoming injury or pain. Thirdly, head down below, hit like, and leave me a question or comment. Now lastly, if you're looking for a resource that really expands on this and muscle imbalances, which is what we're addressing or dealing with when it comes to this exercise, then take a look at the link below this video or take a look in the description box below this video. There's an amazing resource called Muscle Imbalances Revealed, which ends up being a multi-part program that covers different parts of the body. So this is Rick Casales from ExercisesForInjuries.com uh, saying take care and bye-bye.